Histone desetylases are a class of enzymes that remove acetyl groups from an imicron n acetyl lysine amino acid on a histone, allowing the histones to wrap the DNA more tightly. This is important because DNA is wrapped around histones, and DNA expression is regulated by acetylation and deacetylation. Its action is opposite to that of histone acetyltransferase. HDAC proteins are now also called lysine desetylases to describe their function rather than their target, which also includes non-histone proteins. HDAC superfamily, together with the acetylpilumin amidahydrolases and the acetone utilization proteins, the histone desetylases form an ancient protein superfamily known as the histone destylase superfamily. Classes of HDACs in higher eukaryotes, HDACs, are classified in four classes depending on sequence homology to the yeast original enzymes and domain organization. HDAC contains zinc and are known as Zn dependent histone desetylases. Subtypes HDAC proteins are grouped into four classes based on function and DNA sequence similarity. Class I, 2, and 4 are considered classical HDACs whose activities are inhibited by trichostatin A and have a zinc dependent active site whereas class III enzymes are a family of NAD plus minus dependent proteins known as situins and are not affected by TSA. Homologues to these three groups are found in yeast having the names, reduced potassium dependency 3, which corresponds to class I. Histone destylase 1, corresponding to class II. And silent information regulator 2, corresponding to class III. Class IV contains just one isoform, which is not highly homologous with either RPD3 or HDA1 yeast enzymes, and therefore HDAC11 is assigned to its own class. The class III enzymes are considered a separate type of enzyme and have a different mechanism of action. These enzymes are NAD plus minus dependent, whereas HDACs in other classes require Zn2 plus as a cofactor. Subcellular distribution, within the class I HDACs, HDAC1, 2, and 8 are found primarily in the nucleus, whereas HDAC3 is found in both the nucleus and the cytoplasm, and is also membrane associated. Class II HDACs are able to shuttle in and out of the nucleus, depending on different signals. HDAC6 is a cytoplasmic, microtubule associated enzyme. HDAC6 desetylates tubulin, HSP90, and cortactin and forms complexes with other partner proteins, and is, therefore, involved in a variety of biological processes. Function equals Histone modification equals, histone tails are normally positively charged due to M groups present on their lysine and arginine amino acids. These positive charges help the histone tails to interact with and bind to the negatively charged phosphate groups on the DNA backbone. Acetylation which occurs normally in a cell, neutralizes the positive charges on the histone by changing amines into amides and decreases the ability of the histones to bind to DNA. This decreased binding allows chromatin expansion, permitting genetic transcription to take place. Histone desetylases remove those acetyl groups, increasing the positive charge of histone tails and encouraging high affinity binding between the histones and DNA backbone. The increased DNA binding condenses DNA structure, preventing transcription. Histone destylase is involved in a series of pathways within the living system. According to the Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes, these are environmental information processing, signal transduction, notch signaling pathway path, CoO4330, cellular processes, cell growth and death. Cell cycle path, CoO 4110, human diseases, cancers, chronic myeloid leukemia path, CoO 5220, histone acetylation plays an important role in the regulation of gene expression. Hyperacetylated chromatin is transcriptionally active, and hyperacetylated chromatin is silent. A study on mice found that a specific subset of mouse genes was deregulated in the absence of HDAC1. Their study also found a regulatory crosstalk between HDAC1 and HDAC2 and suggest a novel function for HDAC1 as a transcriptional coactivator. 
HDAC1 expression was found to be increased in the frontal cortex of schizophrenia subjects, negatively correlating with the expression of GAD67 mRNA. Equals non-histone effects equals, it is a mistake to regard HDAC solely in the context of regulating gene transcription by modifying histones and chromatin structure, although that appears to be the predominant function. The function, activity, and stability of proteins can be controlled by post-translational modifications. Protein phosphorylation is perhaps the most widely studied and understood modification in which certain amino acid residues are phosphorylated by the action of protein kinases or dephosphorylated by the action of phosphatases. The acetylation of lysine residues is emerging as an analogous mechanism, in which non-histone proteins are acted on by acetylases and decetylases. It is in this context that HDACs are being found to interact with a variety of non-histone proteins a euro some of these are transcription factors and co-regulators, some are not. Note the following four examples, HDAC6 is associated with exomes. Mice folded protein aggregates are tagged by herbiquitination and removed from the cytoplasm by dynein motors via the microtubule network to an organal termed the exome. HDAC6 binds polyubiquitinated mice folded proteins and links to dynein motors, thereby allowing the mice folded protein cargo to be physically transported to chaperones and proteasomes for subsequent destruction. PTEN is an important phosphatase involved in cell signaling via phosphoinositols in the AKTPI3 kinase pathway. PTEN is subject to complex regulatory control via phosphorylation, herbiquitination, oxidation and acetylation. Acetylation of PTEN by the histonastal transferase P300-CBP-associated factor can repress its activity. On the converse, decetylation of PTEN by SIRT1 destylase and, by HDAC1, can stimulate its activity. APE1-REF1 is a multifunctional protein possessing both DNA repair activity and transcriptional regulatory activity associated with oxidative stress. APE1-REF1 is acetylated by PCAF. On the converse, it is stably associated with and decetylated by class IHDACs. The acetylation state of APE1-REF1 does not appear to affect its DNA repair activity but it does regulate its transcriptional activity such as its ability to bind to the PTH promoter and initiate transcription of the parathyroid hormone gene. NFIB is a key transcription factor and effector molecule involved in responses to cell stress, consisting of AP50-P65 heterodimer. The P65 subunit is controlled by acetylation via PCAF and by decetylation via HDAC3 and HDAC6. These are just some examples of constantly emerging non-histone, non-chromatin roles for HDACs. HDAC inhibitors Histone destylase inhibitors have a long history of use in psychiatry and neurology as mood stabilizers and anti-epileptics, for example, volproic acid. In more recent times, HDIs are being studied as a mitigator or treatment for neurodegenerative diseases. Also in recent years, there has been an effort to develop HDIs for cancer therapy. Vorinostat was approved in 2006 for the treatment of cutaneous manifestations in patients with cutaneous T-cell lymphoma that have failed previous treatments. A second HDI, Istadax, was approved in 2009 for patients with CTCL. The exact mechanisms by which the compounds may work are unclear, but epigenetic pathways are proposed. In addition, a clinical trial is studying volproic acid effects on the latent pools of HIV in infected persons. HDIs are currently being investigated as chemosensitizers for cytotoxic chemotherapy or radiation therapy, or in association with DNA methylation inhibitors based on in vitro synergy. Recent research has focused on developing isoform selective HDIs which can aid in elucidating role of individual HDAC isoforms and device strategy for effective treatment of diseases related to relevant HDAC isoform. HDAC inhibitors have effects on non-histone proteins that are related to acetylation. HDIs can alter the degree of acetylation of these molecules and, therefore, 
increase or repress their activity. For the four examples given above on HDACs acting on non-histone proteins, in each of those instances the HDAC inhibitor trichostatin A blocks the effect. HDIs have been shown to alter the activity of many transcription factors, including ACTR, CMIB, E2F1, EKLF, FEN1, GATA, HNF4, HSP90, Q70, and FIB, PCNA, P53, RB, RONX, SF1, SP3, STAT, TFIIE, TCF, YY1. Research has shown that histone destylase inhibitors may modulate the latency of some viruses, resulting in reactivation. This has been shown to occur, for instance, with a latent human herpes virus 6 infection. See also, histone acetyl transferase, histone destylase inhibitor, histone methyl transferase, histone modifying enzymes, RNA polymerase control by chromatin structure. References External links, Histone Destylase at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, Animation at Merck.